my friends. The song I just played is a piece of music from a film called My Motherland. We all sing it all the time, Chinese people. Everywhere we go, we sing that song. <laughs> it's like a national song. <laughs> Uh, very, very, very popular in China. Everyone sings that song. It made me feel missing my home, feel homesick. I'm, I'm sure you, are, you can send me everyone to see this little river rather than a big <laughs> river. Because in China, the song is It's a big river. The, the, you know, the words. It's, it's so beautiful, so it made me think in my home and thinking about food very much. And uh, so the dish I'm going to show you today is very much to do with missing home. It's tomato with egg. So basically you have few tomato and a cup of eggs. Like, look, I can do. One hand with oh. crack an egg, egg shows my technique and well beaten like that. Yeah, and then the ingredient you need is sugar, a little bit salt, light soy sauce, chopped spring onion, a little bit fresh coriander, and a couple of drops of. Chinese sesame seed oil. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Very simple, but I tell you, it has so much depth of this dish. It just makes your body feel fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Do you know that feeling, everyone? It's a home feeling. It's home feeling. Yeah. Because I think the ingredient is very important. Yeah. So when the tomato, when I was little, come to my little local shop, it's from a horse cut, you know, the, 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 the people, the farmers from market, from can you say, and they carry, they they put on a hot cart, and it's <laughs> like beautiful pile of tomato, and they come different shape, like triangle, not uh, just little like, round tomatoes. Yeah, it's, like, it's not like yeah. the, this is perfect. Yeah, but I prefer the unperfect tomato. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like like a people. Mm. You know, you can't have everyone look the same. Yeah, yeah? look like everyone different. Yeah. Like, William and me, we look very different. So it's better to look different rather than exactly the same. Yeah. So vegetable, I think is the same. Do you agree, William? Yeah, yeah, it's a more natural looking vegetables. Yeah. I, mean, I, I guess it's not like that anymore. They're not coming in on horse carts anymore. They may be looking just as round as these. Much, they look like, <laughs> that's it, army, yeah. army vegetables. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when they come into the shop, they have a piles. That I was a little boy and I even put up my head and tomato is much <laughs> So they sell, they sell the tomato with a shuffle. Mm. And you bring a basin. I was so little. Like, <laughs> and that much tomato in my basin. I carry it home. And I don't know what, you know, you have to think, how do you cook them in many different ways? Because you can't cook in one way mm. and eat it all the time. So, so now I chop. A tomato. Just show you everyone how to, yeah, prepare this dish. The tomato. You chop it half, and then another half, and then into a little we call moon shape. Yeah. Half moon. So into like apes, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Can you see that, everyone? It's like because if it's thicker, if it's thicker than that. Mm -hmm. it, when you fry it, it wouldn't get it wouldn't get cooked. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you have it too thin like that, and then you would cook it, that is too much, like easy, and then in the end, it's, it's melting. Yeah. So basically, you you keep the thickness. Yeah, you want to be able to bite on it a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. So, so now I'm going to cook the dish. You get a little pan or a wok. I have a little stove, which I love this little stove. Cause it's so simple, yeah, very so easy, easy, very easy. Yeah. Mm. And, the, and sometimes you can just use a little frying pan. You don't need it to use a big wok yeah. for this little dish. <laughs> yeah. So wait until look. You can almost see the heat, like like that. Yeah. So please always hit your pan when you fry something. Just remember that. 
These are all very detailed, important things, everyone. <laughs> yeah? Only so, details. Yeah. So, oil, about one and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil or sunflower oil. And then, early on, I eggs need two plus. eggs. Yeah. yeah. You can do three eggs, four eggs, but I think not too many eggs. Just, just a couple. Yeah, one or two. A little bit pinch of salt. In the egg. In the egg. Yeah. yeah, in the egg. So, you you don't want to put the egg in when the oil is not hot enough mm -hmm. for Chinese food. The reason is we want to get the egg puffy. Yeah, puffy. okay. Yeah, not like we go in like uh, tortilla, uh, like yeah, the, uh, the Spanish egg. or yeah. Yeah. yeah, like shh. We yeah. want to go shh. Yeah, I want to hear it. Hear it. Yeah, can hear, hear it angry. Can you hear my voice? <laughs> Everyone, look, it's smoky. You want to hear the egg rather than yeah yeah so remember the sound look do the sound everyone yeah, and look the egg the puffs up is that beautiful it's one of my, actually sometimes you just can fry the egg like that and eat with basmati rice yeah Kim bas, it's just good enough you know drizzle or soy sauce on the egg it's delicious So, can you see the top egg is really puffed up, mm. everyone? So now, the egg is nearly done. Put your tomato in. You really chop tomato. Look at the color, everyone. Look. Yellow and red. Yeah. Is that beautiful? Chinese colors. Yeah. It's very kind of red. Well, it's very Eastern color, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you like seasoning the dish with a little bit of sugar. Like that. That's not the acid. Like, like twice, twice, two times, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the tomato lacks the sweet meat. Yeah. Yeah. Little bit of sea salt. Mm -hmm. A bit more. Like a couple of inch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a little bit light soy sauce. Many people cook this dish mm -hmm. not putting soy sauce. They just want, they just want to keep the pure neck. But yeah. I always like a little bit taste of yeah. that. A little bit more fun. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, little bit yeah. taste of the soy sauce like that. Mm. I think the, the, the color really nice as well. Yeah, like the, the color changing a little bit yeah. now. Just, just, just watching. It's changing a little bit. Don't put dark soy sauce, please, mm. everyone. That yeah. will kill the dish. <laughs> so please remember, is light soy sauce a drizzle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you can see the tomato is getting cooked. And we, well, actually, we, we cook four tomatoes. This will be enough. Four tomato, beef tomato, will be enough for four to six people mm. for this dish. Because Chinese, yeah. you eat... Lots of little dishes. Yeah, yeah. a lot of little dishes. A dish. bit like yeah. uh, Spanish tapas, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it, it is. It's different, lots of different tastes. Mm. Sorry, a lot of different dishes. So now, early on, you chop, I chop some spring onion. Mm -hmm. Put your spring onion in. Oh, it smells great. It's, it's yeah. all, William, can you, can you smell it? This, it is, it is like that smell, you, you know, because you don't, I can't I think, think of that many sort of other, other tomato I, egg dishes. I tell you what. The smell of egg and tomato yeah. together. But I tell you, this dish is richer mm. than a meat dish. Yeah, it yeah. is, it it's is. Re can you believe? Mm. Just tomato egg, but the taste and the smell of your neighbor, if, if they smell it, is yeah. richer than yeah. you do some a slow cooked beef or, or pork or lamb. Mm. This is stronger than me. I don't know why. Mm. It's just, I think it's one of the invention. Meat 5,000 years old, you know, dish. It's incredible, so simple. Yeah, so simple. Okay, now it's there, it's ready. So in the end, you just finish off with a little bit coriander, chopped coriander, fresh coriander. Yeah. So now, it all takes about three minutes, this dish. It's so simple. Now I'm going to 
put into a dish, so you li- see how beautiful everyone did when the dish come out. Mm. Have a look. So now, look at that. With a fold of frequent basmati rice, mm. it's incredible. The best. The one of the best dish, really. Yeah, it is. I Come really to promise everyone try try to cook this dish. It's great. So please, if you like this dish, try it. So I'm going to try this tomato and egg dish, which we I just did. Look at that. So of course, you can eat it with rice, but you can also eat it on or with a, uh, any different yeah. with bread, Noodles, with, yeah, bread even with yeah. bread, steamed bun. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> My whole life. <laughs> I'm missing. The taste like this. Why do you put your mouth? Mm-hmm. It's close to your body, like like doing Tai Chi. <laughs> really? Yeah. So, please, William, you can try.